Over the years, more awareness and legislation has emerged to deal with the pressing issue of climate change in Canada. Throughout this process, we saw the introduction of our country's first national carbon tax in 2018 by the Liberal government, putting a dollar value on the tons of greenhouse gases being emitted by an average citizen, big business, and even farmers. The question one must ask is how does something such as the carbon tax affect an everyday farmer, but also the agricultural industry in Alberta as a whole? Good afternoon, Madam Chairperson, Honorable Judges, friends, family, and fellow 4-H members. Before one can criticize or praise any type of legislation like the carbon tax, you need to understand what it is and how it works. The government sets a price that emitters must pay for each ton of greenhouse gas emissions they emit. Businesses and consumers will then take steps such as switching fuels or adopting new technologies to reduce their emissions to avoid paying the tax. This left many across the country feeling animosity towards the government for rolling out such a substantial tax in such a short period of time. We have seen and continue to see these frustrations amongst many farmers and other contributors to the agricultural industry. It is important to consider the factors that are causing these feelings, but also some of the positive factors the carbon tax has brought about. First, we must consider the negative impacts on the agricultural industry in Alberta, ranging from shrinking profits to being unfair on the global stage. The most obvious negative impact of the carbon tax is shrinking the profit margins of Alberta farmers. It is clear that the price of inputs needed to operate their business from seed and crop protection products to parts, machinery, and shipping has gone up. All of these products and services which are costing more are directly passed down to the farmer. Agriculture is typically a low margin business and since producers don't set their prices, they can't pass along those increased costs. Secondly, the carbon tax has brought about a very dramatic global disadvantage. On a global scale, Canada is much farther ahead in terms of slowing climate change and putting in place legislation for a more sustainable future. But when something such as the carbon tax is imposed upon our agricultural industry, it dramatically harms competitiveness on the markets with other countries such as India and China who have no such rules. Many have no plans at all to implement carbon pricing or climate change policies. Therefore, anything that requires commercial transportation will suffer the carbon tax price putting Alberta farmers at a huge disadvantage compared to their global competitors. Lastly, it is widely regarded Alberta farmers are doing their part in protecting our natural environments. Soil protection and the climate has been a concern for the Alberta farming industry for several years. Many farms already utilize environmental practices like zero till seeding, making a clear and conscious effort to be as clean and energy efficient as possible. I believe this mentality is influenced by our respect for the land and a hope for our traditional farming practices to continue for generations to come. Overall, Alberta farmers feel a carbon tax on their business is unfair punishment. Pertaining to every issue, we must acknowledge the other side to the story. And in this case, it's the positive influences the carbon tax has had on our agricultural industry. I believe you have to reflect on its purpose. Using a carbon tax is one of the most powerful incentives that governments have to encourage big name companies, businesses, households, and farmers to pollute less, invest in cleaner technologies, and adopt greener practices. The premise of the tax is reasonable and purposeful, and I am a supporter of what it is doing to promote and protect our Alberta environment. Without a sustainable and well taken care of environment, what type of agricultural industry would we have in the future? With the recent ruling of the federal carbon tax being constitutional by the Supreme Court, I hope this will encourage our provincial government to take this matter into their own hands and develop a carbon pricing system in our own province. This way we can put Alberta first and we can put our agricultural industry first, protecting and investing in it. The carbon tax has been a difficult hurdle for Alberta's agricultural industry. 
we have seen decreasing profit margins, a global disadvantage, as well feelings of resentment, since we have been trying to do our best for our environment. Although I hope for these setbacks to be temporary, and I hope to see change. This tax may seem severe for our integral agricultural industry, but I believe it will influence a better and greener world for everyone. When looking to our future, this tax will become part of our lives and drive us to be the best producer, the best farmer, and the best agricultural industry possible. To quote the Dalai Lama, it is our collective and individual responsibility to preserve and tend to the world in which we all live.